what i want to share today with you is a brief uh, history of what has happened in the field of technology in the last few years and where it's all going in the next maybe 15 or 20 years and then end this discussion with a question that has been bothering me as well as it might raise some doubts and uh, thoughts in your in your mind as well so going ahead 2007 2008 has been particularly tough time for many businesses and individuals all across the world the recession has sunk in and there were issues everywhere in terms of the linear to the business the revenue the customers getting lost and so on and so forth if there were two people in the family earning and one lost the job they couldn't afford the health care for their kids or even the education rows and rows of houses in the neighborhood where i used to live were getting emptied because people couldn't afford the mortgage that they were supposed to pay for the homes that they had bought so dearly during all this gloomy and depressing period there was something else that was going on all around the world there was a huge evolution in technology that was happening which i believe crystallized into something we now know as information age and we moved away categorically from the industrial age into the information age that disruption essentially caused lots of things to happen what used to be in the room full now sits in your pocket in just about 40 to 50 years there is tremendous increase in the data that is out there and there are great examples of what this can do it may be the case that only 5% of the entire data in the world is analyzed but some examples that you and me are familiar with for example are dhoni is the best batsman in the last 10 overs right didn't we know this before probably not right the insights in the data gives you these wonderful wonderful uh, information that we can use for doing things uh, the other examples are the elections uh, in us presidential elections with uh, barack obama as well as the election uh, in india uh, for narendra modi so these are some examples of what data can do and there are a lot many things that are out there for the answers for the questions that you have never asked before interestingly i don't know how many of you used orkut or myspace but they're out facebook grew so fast but whatsapp even put it behind and there are many more now that are being adapted so quickly and so fast that we can't even start our day without looking at them there is an impact on our social life as well as personal life in the way we consume things today right there is no more uh, calling for a cab you just go to the phone and start you know booking your cab right away and it arrives and takes you where you want to go similarly the airbnb disruption that happened in the hoteling industry changed the way people look at booking the rooms in more than 150 countries now airbnb operates who has absolutely no rooms uh, that they have they own themselves and alibaba is another example and there are several examples of like that in india as well where there there is no inventory it's all people coming together and doing things uh, for the interest of e-commerce now if this is all happened in last 8 or 9 years do you wonder what's going to happen in next maybe 24 to 48 months let's take a look this is becoming a reality very soon you have seen already in the market devices like the the vr sets being introduced and the thing is that they will become more and more affordable for a common man like you and me okay the technology will become affordable as there is more and more demand for this ideas apps will be built only for the mobile because mobile is the new platform there are 30 plus companies in the world which is astounding who are building autonomous self driven cars and there are few of them who have already rolled out these cars running on the streets in some of the countries and the promise of these cars essentially is not just to free you from driving but also make it death proof or accident proof with the technology that goes around it everything will be on cloud there will be a transition ultimately that anything that you want to do will be done on cloud and similarly the apps will get connected more and more apps will get connected and so the examples of this are basically if you're booking a restaurant on zomato you will see the uber or ola cab 
booking available there. Or I'm searching for an address of a hotel on Google Maps and I suddenly see an ad from booking.com which shows me the room's availability and the rent in that hotel that I'm searching. With all the digital properties that we have, the digital lives that li we live, on all these things, right, you have your email, you have your photos, music, the home security, you can see the camera uh, that is installed in your home, uh, the bank, so on and so forth. How many user IDs and passwords you want to remember? There will be a personal cloud that gives access to everything in one place. It will be your personal portal. And all these things will connect it, will get connected. And make it easy for us to access. Internet of Things is another area which is growing very, very fast. There are more than 400, 500 companies, big companies in this space innovating every day. Take an example of a shopping cart where you just pick it up when you go to the supermarket and you put your phone down in the shopping cart and the shopping cart already knows that it's you who is walking in. As you walk in the store and start picking up the stuff from the aisles and put it in the cart, it's already making a note of it and the billing is being done and you can see it on your mobile in real time. As you exit the boundary of the superstore, since it already knows, it's you, it already knows what you bought, it already charges your card and lets you go. As you get near your car, the car knows that you are coming and you have a shopping cart with you. It opens the trunk automatically for you and all you have to do is just pick up the stuff and put it in the trunk. That's the example of what internet of things or connected things will do for us. And it's, this number changes every day I wake up. Somewhere 50 billion, you know, a few months ago. It's probably more than that. More than 200 plus, or 200 billion plus devices will intermittently get connected to exchange information. 3D printing is another one which is growing extremely fast. In the last three years alone, the innovation that has happened in this space has changed the way we look at lots of things that are happening around us in our life. Not only just printing the ornaments, it also helps you to do the printing of human tissue. The human skin, prosthetic limbs, an example of an ear that you can implant. And I heard they also printed a human heart with a 3D printer. This is going to generate huge amount of new interest industries in the next 24 to 48 months. Take an example of, uh, you know, somebody just publishing the designs of the dresses that you know you can choose from on a website and you customize it based on how you like it the color the, the print and everything and just order and the 3d printer somewhere will get printed for you and get it delivered to you there goes the retail industry completely and anyone can start probably that business with a lot of lot of innovation and a lot of creativity that can happen because of these technologies the nanotechnology is also making inroads you probably have seen this year the phones that get dropped in the water and never get wet. Or the clothes that never get stains, the shoes that never get mud on them, the cars that never get tents. That's all nanotechnology for you and that's happening. There are some health concerns about this technology and those will be eliminated as we go forward and there will be more and more uses of this technology for us. And the world is changing with the amount of vehicles, the drones in the, in the sky above us doing everything from delivery, healthcare, monitoring and so on and so forth for civilian usage as well as military and non-military usage in the government. And there are several countries now already who are coming up with the regulations to control the introduction of drones and you are forced to get it registered with the aviation industry. Design thinking is something that gave companies like Apple a huge advantage and you see it all around you now how those products come out and become so dear and near to us and acceptable instantly. The people stand up in the queues overnight just to buy those things. This will be probably the highest paying job in future and design thinking applies to every walk of life not just technology and how you do things how you connect patterns to people and people to patterns and create beautiful things. So that is design thinking. All these technologies come together in a very, very interesting and magical way when we talk about smart cities. We just launched a campaign yesterday in, in Maharashtra uh, for the smart cities. 
by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And everything that is out there is con getting converted into smart. The apartment that I bought has a smart meter and smart uh, electricity already, smart water. So there will be more and more of these things happening around all of us as we go forward. If all of this is happening in next 24 to 48 months, and it's still going to change our lives tremendously, what do you think will happen? Maybe in the next couple of decades, you want to see that? There will be no glass. You just have an image in front of you and you can interact with it. That is holographics. There will be my favorite, flying bikes and flying cars. We already have self-driven cars now, so what is next? Probably flying cars. You will have intergalactic travel and there are several companies already that are making huge, huge advancements in the space. And the, the, in the, the travel to Mars is going to be very, very you know, possible in the next you know, 10 to 20 years. There will be personalized medicines and nanobots that go inside your body and monitor your vital statistics and you know, provide the data to your service provider or health provider and continuously optimize your health. Quantum computers, whatever you carry today in your hands, will probably have billion fold more power. If you just see that picture where it used to be a room full, right now it sits in a pocket, imagine what's going to happen you know, in, in about 10 years from now, 10 to 20 years from now. Cure for most of the terminal diseases is on the corner. Some of them have already been conquered and, and most of them will be uh, cured with the help of technology. Cyborgs, humanoids and singularity are the other trends that are going to happen in the next two decades. You will be aided with a cyborg or a humanoid as part of your extended, you know, member of your family who can do a lot of things that are being done today by us. And a lot more that is going to happen. The question that makes me wonder all the time is essentially what all this means to social, cultural and spiritual ethos of the human life on earth. Thank you very much.